birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda, you saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda a while back. I think she knew Elizabeth Sobek. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath.
This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. Gary said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. A lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. That's true. I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Water's pouring out of the building. Poseidon's doing it? I'd better check it out. Camping gear. Okay. Oh, 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 I was out of it. Oh, I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand. It's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. Someone's been through here. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. About the Delph. Uh, Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage. Whatever you find below is yours. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here. Some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? This is where Marilyn said the hole would be. I must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the heart. I 
sandstorms blowing in. Just what I need. Where's the hurt? I should have the parts I need. And the machines? I deal with them first. care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from Nolan's diving bubble. I gotta move. Finally, I'm going to get away from this place. Well, I should have that Aloy showed up. Thing now. We'll see. Get back to more the longer their sojourn. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the. Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. <laughs> a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. But suddenly, the dancing lights around us changed. Lights? What do you mean? Images in the air, sparked by the embers, the salvage I'm after. Tiny hologram projectors? At first, there were lots of images. Women and, and coins and foodstuffs. And then, suddenly, they turned nautical. Waves. Fish. It was this flash of red. And the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light. From a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. 
I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay, time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. Why the mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. down here somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. Shake off this wet. There. One node down. I'll just come back up and find the access point for the second node. should be on the other side of the door.
much. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Taking care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency power to the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. Part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Console in here. There. How do I dry this place out? Machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Beside me. I guess the purge didn't get rid of all of the water.
Was this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Somewhere beyond the storm. Time to bring it home. Okay. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. The London crew must have headed back up top. All the members like the carrier. built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Nice not to have to climb back up. Whatever she did. 
did. Him <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the climb. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget. Games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Moreland and crew is gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to God. trying to kill me? Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. With the acquisition of Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus, and fortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you've been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual ground. I'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport ring. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, 
I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Alva said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. I wouldn't hear the song if I didn't like the way you sing it. So you like hearing me put your Utaru music? I sure don't. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Gaia, what's this room? This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And while those modules were deleted... So they carved it. Okay. Gaia, what's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Well, it's getting some use. Looks like Aaron and Catalo moved their stuff in. Doors unlocked now. Did you know there used to be a rain bar? There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. This console. There are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. <sighs> Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. My old spear. Rust helped me make it when I finished my training. 
Feels like so long ago now. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. <laughs>